And we're back. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Elite Arc series. I've just got to say like quite a few things in this intro. So if you do want to skip it, I'm going to leave a timestamp on screen now. I, I see those comments like, oh my god, blur. You're doing your old intros again like one minute, like two minutes long. Like chill. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I'm leaving the timestamp on screen. So you've had your chance to skip it. But yeah, let's get into it. So I've been reading a lot of comments again. And a lot of them are saying, oh, blur, what do we do up to uh, 100k? You haven't got a server out yet. But you know, if you want me to get there quicker, please sub. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of comments and there's only really three three xbox servers i wrote and one of them being cataclysm cataclysm is a 15x uh server 15x rates overall except for egg hatch uh, and mature uh, you never want your chomp chomps to take two hour like 15 hours to hatch do you so that i kind of agree with that also it's five man tribe limit on every map except ragnarok ragnarok has a three man tribe limit because you know how annoying alphas could be on ragnarok uh and yeah that's really all i have to say about it. i'm good friends with the owner flowers um we spoke a lot in the past i'm planning maybe to do a video or a stream on it at some point too because i really do like the look of the server but yeah, if you guys do want to go play on it link in the description down below it's cataclysm and yeah uh let's get into the video on that and i hope you enjoy all right so now that's all the other way i can show pretty much no progress on the base yeah after the raid, uh, me and Zanite did, uh, the one that took us up to like 5am on that rat hole raid, uh, we didn't actually play much of the day before, main reason being we both woke up at like 6pm because uh, we stayed up so late and then we kind of ignored it. But every one of the chomp chomps is raised, as well as that all the trikes are now uncryopoded, which is a... Uh, oh, I can finally use these, but I kind of want to see... Right, so I have the two saddles on me, I believe these two are mine? Uh, yeah, right, I'm gonna whack that one on. I'm gonna use that one now. I'm also gonna whack that one on. So they end up with 596 melee with 100% imprint. Okay, let me grab a cryopod real quick and whack all mine in somewhere. Okay, do I have any? Cryopod? 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 Yeah, okay, we do have some. My face when I just realized I had some in my inventory. Alright, that's Xanite's one. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cryo this one first. And I'm just going to try and hide this one, so you don't want anyone stealing it. Um, no, I'm actually going to go put it upstairs. That is, ah, upstairs is not what I'm doing. Upstairs is probably the safest uh, safest point for me to do this. I need to rename it. Polar. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm curious to see on how much these come out with. Now, if they're the exact same line as what the other guys were from the raid we did, they will come out around like 1.1k melee. I believe. Now, I don't think this is the max amount of levels I've got to it. It's probably going to end up on 1k now-ish. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to craft some things and get it XP so I can actually see. And then I'm going to go out, do some griefing. We've got a few more hatching to do. I actually want to breed up those trikes as well and get some of those imprinted into me. Because if I don't, uh, that's kind of annoying. I don't know which ones are the best though, and that's the issue. 60 HP on this one. Uh, are these male and female? They are indeed. Okay. Uh, behavior and will mating uh, Behavior and evil mating Sweet, how many eggs have come out of this already? Below eggs, none, none of these are important Okay, we've got a few of those for the tribe mates Dairy egg, okay, cool We're going good, we're going good Should Probably whack up some of this too Been a bit lazy on the good old bullet crafting recently But Yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly progressing Slowly progressing I think my, most of my tribe doesn't play anymore. Main reason being, <laughs> after building up once and then getting wiped uh, offline and then trying to build up again, everyone's just been a bit lazy, to be honest. Including myself, but you know. We still have all these cryos we got from the raid. Now, I kind of want to actually pop some of these and check it, but none of them seem to be anything other than 150 tames. 350 PT, 315, I can check that, I guess. 158 Spino. Yeah, all of these just seem to be... Ooh. Good. Gonna check that real quick actually the carbo um let me uh pop it out like over here ish ah. my hp is this thing have oh not hp saddle okay it doesn't have that good of a saddle there was also a good pt in one of the guys it was this one i think let's have a look at the color ah, a terrible color and also a terrible saddle how do you have that good of a pt in a terrible color a terrible saddle what about this one oh, well look why are you so bad? Ah, well, my good PT should be raised over here. One that I yoinked off Xanite because he tried to hatch them all. Here it is. Hello, PT. I'm going to pump this thing into some weight, though. Uh, get his stamina up a bit. Also, HP because people have god fabbies on this server. And I think I'll put the rest into movement, possibly. 
Alright, sweet, and this bad boy should be done any second now. Nice, now I don't have to use my griffin, because I am terrible at picking on the griffins, and that is a proven fact by science. I think my tribe mates actually moved all the loot from the raid into these vaults, is it? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, I was looking for more flak to take up before I go outside, and I ended up here. Now, 500 euro, cool. No. No, okay. I accidentally just leveled HP on this thing. I am super mad right now. Well... That could be the one point in melee that defines a fight. I know, I might lose it now. I am not very smart. I honestly wonder if these guys' huge cliff plat base is like just out here as I walk out. Last time I flew into it and I got shredded. Yeah, it's right there. We have a huge LPP base. A cannon? Ugh, didn't bring a spyglass again. I need to go get one. That's a cannon though, is it? No, they're plant species. Uh, I always forget the spyglass. It's the one thing. A nice juicy overshot view for the for the base. Like, if it was done, this would be 10 out of 10. Mwah. But um, yeah, we're lazy. So cool. Apparently, I didn't have enough wood in my base for a spyglass. <sighs> so poor. It's official. I just flew to the other side of the complete, like the complete other side of the map to check who's actually built in my rat hole. The one that we were built in last season. Now they have, <laughs> I've seen this, uh, I, I've seen people like rambling on about it in like my comments and stuff and people DM me about it. But these guys have got an identical copy to what our base was, our base was last season. It looks, um... Yeah, pretty much the same. It's pretty cool. Their ROP is up in 217 minutes, I guess. It would, be, it would. It would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That works. Yeah, they've got like the little greenhouse designs that I did. As well as that, they have like the, the the massive chandelier there. They have sort of a turret tower there. Um, not the same as ours. It's a definitely you know a tad bit smaller. It's now identical to it. <laughs> I've just headed over to Valguero. Main reason being, uh, it actually has, I think, the highest pop right now. It's in the high uh, 60s, I believe. So I'm going to, you know, have a little look out, see if I can find anyone. Also, scout bases. Most bases I've found on Valguero, if not on those, most people actually, well, you know, the quote-unquote good players, they build around chalk cliffs. Now, a lot of new players who come into Ark uh, think that chalk cliffs is a good idea. It isn't, trust me. If you're building on Valg, make sure you build an oil cave or the rat hole up in the ice. Because those are the only really two good spots on this map. There is a few others, but those are the only two mentionable ones, I'd say. Now, I have got a 2 minute 30 timer on my chomp chomp. So I've kind of got to uh, be careful, I guess. Because if I get into a fight with the Alpha Tribe, who I believe live in oil caves still, if they haven't been wiped. I definitely need to keep my wits about me. It's not got a ring around it. If it has, I'm gonna wait for it. If not, I'm not gonna bother. But so, no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm not waiting for that. There's no point. Hello? What's a random trike here? What level are you? Ah. Ah, three, four, six. Ah, I see. The big base is up here. Le big base has arrived. Um. I don't actually have anything to test today, I'll full RP. Hmm. Looks like a good raid though. I just found another random PT. First it was a trike, now it's PT. What level are you? You are? But okay. And his body's here. I'm gonna rob his sniper. Wait, what just happened down here? I saw something break. The foundation just demolished in front of my eyes. The hell? The foundation just broke in front of my eyes. Hello? Okay, so I found this tiny base, and I'm not gonna like make it a long video. Main reason being, main long clip. Main reason being, I'm only blowing it to get the C4. Ah, the base has the bug. Well, I cannot place. I just wanted the element out of the base. Really, really, I just wanted the element. Well, I guess we're gonna ignore that one. I need elements, so uh, yeah. Wait, what is going on down there? Is someone soaking a base? What? What's going on? 
the hell? What just happened? What? Ah, it's someone's velo. Why is there a velo here? beating everything up I don't have a compound bow so I can't really do much I don't really want to throw out my chomp chomp either what level is it? ow ow 306 that's actually a high level what the hell okay I want this red beacon please give me something good out of this be much appreciated since there's been no good bases to raid the papa ah and then racer saddle. Not that I needed that. Okay, now I'm scared. I came to Blue Obelisk to actually transfer out and go to Ragnarok, and there's a PT here. Uh, keep in mind, it's only a level 100. So I don't think I'm going to be too worried, maybe. Possibly just the biggest bait of my life, and there's a player sitting in a bush somewhere. I'm about to get screwed over. No, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to cryopod this bad boy. Then I'm going to throw out my chomp chomp if someone bothers me. Scare them away. Thank you. Yeah, we don't actually have any, like, uh, good golems, chomp chomps, anything right now. So, uh, yeah, I scouted for a while. Didn't find anything good. Uh, well, worth doing that we could do because we don't have golems. Uh, we do have good trikes and chomp chomps, but... I guess, you know, it's not going to work. Yeah, I thought I'd use the rest of the video to actually show off the base. Main reason I want to do a base tour so early on and not later on is because uh, we're probably going to get wiped. Now, I've had quite a few people saying, oh, yes, um, I'm going to wipe you. Fun, fun. You wait till you're offline, blah. Like, you know, the 12-year-olds. So I just thought I'd show off the base in its glory. Well, even though it's not really done. The death will need to be done still. Other than that, it's uh, most mostly everything's built. Obviously, you start off in the main floor. We got uh, we got all the tames we've got. On. We've got quite a few rock drakes. We got my baby over here. We got Ronnie the rock drake. Um, didn't level him. Didn't use him at all because I didn't feel like he was necessary. As well as that, uh, this is just the random tame floor. To be honest, a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, booties, uh, flag, farm, reach, and uh, I don't know what this does. Look like poop. Eggs. Okay. Also, tech rep. I don't know what's actually in the tech rep anymore. Just everything we farmed. Also, we have... What is this? Element. element. We have 5.4k element. 5.4. Anyways, you head upstairs. We got uh, where where I'm storing my chomp chomps on most of my teams right now. I don't know why this why we have this. It's 32 melee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much the base done. We were going to have another floor, mainly top floor for bait, uh, like personal rooms, but um, I think we'll build them tomorrow, maybe, depending on it. I just accidentally popped a shadow stick instead of throwing out my PT. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah but anyway, as you go outside, uh, this is pretty much the base in its glory. Now, if anyone actually does want the base calls to us, because I've had a lot of DMs, it is actually a zero, uh, like, zero 030 on the map. So we're actually right here. Many of you know how to get in, but... Uh, very broken. Here's the main glaze, like main the main chandelier, chandelier there. We have one down here. We also have one up here at the back protecting. Uh, there, the very cool. Is that we go down? We have one right about here. That one's there. And yeah, we were gonna have a multi-layered death wall design that Niall was actually gonna build. It's hard to explain how it was gonna be done, but um, he ended up leaving the tribe because he didn't want to play anymore. But yeah, this was actually this needed a lot more turrets on it. And once it's done, if we still if we finish it tomorrow, I'll show you guys an updated base tour of this. But this is meant to have like uh, a lot of turrets on it, and then there was meant to be pillars, velos, and stuff. Blah blah blah. It's meant to be very nice, very nice. We got a few velos out, but. Um, yeah, they're probably as useless as my dog. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, but yeah, that's the base tour, to be honest. Um, not much I can say about it, but I do want to say I'll probably title this video like Unraidable Base Tour. But um, a lot of you may know, especially the big tribes on official that do watch this, that Extinction Tree is probably the only legit base spot on the map, on any of the maps that can be truly unraidable if built right. The only real way to probably raid this is either gas bag, maybe, but if you build the right defenses, it can't be gas bagged or cannoned. Now, I'm pretty sure Niall knows how to anti stuff like that. 
But yeah, there's a reason people like Montage and um, Goon Squad, I'm guessing, all have this base spot on lockdown on everywhere. L l look at it. It is disgustingly broken. It is on the level of, like, the knockout rat holes that are banned. Knockout rat holes are banned. I know a lot of you are probably putting, oh, yeah, I know, knockout rat hole and center. They're all banned on the fish one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so if you're building one, be careful. But yeah, um, it's good. But I wish we, we had more time to build up correctly. Anyways, that does it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. As well as I send the intro, uh, you know, 100k subs on Friday. I have a big announcement to make. Me and uh, the admins of our server are actually opening up the console server Discord early so you guys can find our info. So look forward to that. But yeah, check out Cataclysm, link in the description. Check out Lee Arc, check out all my stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next episode, guys. Peace.